Dear students, I Sabha Khatun, Assistant Professor, Department of Education and Training Manu, welcomes you in this educational program of B.A. First Year Communicative English. In today's session, we are going to discuss the topic, different types of listening. Before starting the topic, I would like to give you an overview of the session. In this session, we will be going to learn about what is listening comprehension, what are the different types of listening, in which we will be discussing seven different types of listening. Those are attentive listening, selective listening, pretended listening, reflective listening, appreciative listening, critical listening, and comprehensive listening. Students, when we learn any language, we usually learn to listen first, then to speak, then to read and finally to write. These are called the four language skills that is listening, speaking, reading and writing. These four skills are divided into two major types that is receptive skills and productive skills. Listening and reading are called as receptive skills because here we receive the oral and written messages through our various senses. These skills are also known as passive skills of language. Whereas Speaking and writing are known as productive skills because we produce the language in oral or written form here. These skills are also known as active skills of language. <music> Students, we tend to hear various sounds around us in our day-to-day -day life like chirping of the birds, whistle of the pressure cooker, horn of the school bus, television sound going in the background while we are on a phone call, etc. But can we say we are really listening to all these sounds? The answer is no. Listening comprehension is more than just hearing what is said. Listening comprehension can be understood as a thoughtful attention paid to what is being said and is also demands an understanding that facilitates retention of the listened content. Now let us see what are the different types of listening. Students, there are many types of listening. Here we will be discussing on seven major types. Attentive listening means paying full attention and is not distracted by any temporary interruptions. In attentive listening, retained amount is maximum and the listener is able to comprehend the text in an intended way. <music> Students, have you ever observed that when you are in a class and your teacher is taking the attendance by calling out the roll numbers? What usually happens in this situation? Your mind comes into an attention mode only when your turn to speak is about to come. We become selective listeners here. This is called selective listening where everything is heard but thoughtful attention is paid only to the selected words. I may not be listening to you at all but I need to make you believe that I am. This is well known to us that we sometimes avoid listening to a complete lecture or speech or we take out our attention away for a while. Yet, the speaker is not aware of that. This mechanism of nodding heads, taking fake notes and keeping the smart expressions convey that one has been paying full attention. But the reality is otherwise contrary. This is pretended listening. And it is not at all recommended in formal situations. You may relate this type of listening when your best friend shares some happy or sad moments with you. You automatically start to associate your feelings and thought that your friend is going through. So, basically reflective listening is a state when the listener needs to pay full attention and the heard information generates associated feelings and thoughts in the mind of the listener. When you listen for appreciation, you are listening for enjoyment. Think about the music you listen to. You usually listen to music because you enjoy it. This is appreciative listening. Some common types of appreciative listening are listening to religious sermons, motivational speeches, listening to music, or even listening to a stand-up comedy that makes you laugh. <laughs> Students, have you ever participated in a debate? What happens in a debate? In a debate, you listen to all parts of the message here analyze it and evaluate what you heard. 
when we engage in critical listening, we are also critically thinking at the same time. Your goal as a critical listener is to evaluate the message that is being said and decide for yourself if the information is valid. You make mental judgments based on what you see, hear, read in critical listening. This is one of the difficult types of listening because it requires you not only to concentrate but also to actively participate in the process. For example, you are watching the news or listening to a lecture or getting a direction from someone to reach your destination. So, this process is active, you are listening to comprehend the message that is being said, you may be taking few mental notes in comprehensive listening for future references. So students, these are some of the different types of listening we have discussed here. <music> students, in today's session, we have discussed about listening comprehension and seven different types of listening. That is it for today. For further details about the topic, you may refer to the following sources given on the screen here. <music> you can also contact us on this address. We will be discussing more such topics from Communicative English in our upcoming sessions. Till then, stay tuned to IMC Manu. Thank you.